Hey, Floss Tube. It's your girl, Alexis. And your girl, Kia. The wife has come back to join me on this Floss Tube today. We're on Floss Tube number five. Uh, I still have enough fingers for that, so we're still good. And I'm coming to you today with a normal Floss Tube update. I have a finished, or no, not a finished, a fully finished item. What else do I have? Whips. I do have whips. And I have haul. I'm not going to talk about how much. Hopefully she'll have disappeared at that portion of the video, but I do have to get back to it. So, but today we're all, we have a new new setup today because Kia has taken over my craft room. Mine. And she hasn't given it back yet. So I work I work on site, um, and Kia works from home. And when my mom came to visit, what two weeks ago? Yep. About two weeks ago, she we gave her Kia's office as like you know for her guest room, and Kia and I shared my craft room, and Kia has not vacated my craft room yet. It's cozy. Isn't it cozy? I love my craft room. I've done a really good job making it cozy. So we're in our living room, right in front of our bookshelf. Um, we're channeling, um, I, well, I'm channeling my inner uh, Kansas City girl in Colorado world, Julie, because this is usually her backdrop, but it just makes sense. Best lighting. If you good. if you hear somebody breathing real heavy. It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. It's my glow. I'm just going to say that now. <laughs> I was wondering if it would probably be like, what is in the oh, background? Oh, you. It's not me. <laughs> it's not here. It's Milo. I can try to show you guys Milo. Let's see. There's Milo. And he breathes real, real heavy. Oh, are you offended? So that's who's breathing really heavy in the background. Is Are you mad? That's Milo. But yes, let's get into Floss Tube. Oh, I want to tell you guys a story though. Let, don't you ruin my story either. Okay, so life update. I don't have much, but I want to tell you guys a story because guess what we did. So the other day, my little sit, the other day we were at home and Kia goes, hey, honey, the faucet's not working well. She goes, the water pressure is not like coming out really good. I'm going to try to fix it. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, you know, it's going to be fine. I'm going to get it fixed. And if I can't fix it, then I'll stop. And I'm like, okay, honey. I get from this up. And this is like what, five o'clock after work? <sighs> Why yeah. I have to talk about this part. Because it's funny. Okay. Don't listen to her. I'm not going to be dramatic. Okay. So she comes out, come home, and she's like, Yeah, I'm going to fix it for you. And I'm like, Pour myself a glass of wine. And I'm like, Okay, honey, but whatever you do, just don't make it worse. Worse. Like, it's okay for you to tinker. But if you find yourself at a point where it's like, Ooh, it's just not working, like, let's just like call a plumber. She's like, Okay, okay. So I'm like, All right. So I disappear in my craft room, and I'm like, I'm doing my own tinkering, and she comes in the room probably what, like an hour later? And she goes, <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. She goes, she goes, honey, I have good news and I have bad news. And I was like, what's the good news? She goes, Well, there's a tiny little leak under our sink. And I fixed that. And I'm like, oh great, that's awesome. And she goes, and I'm like, what's the bad news? And she's like, I broke the whole sink. And I'm like, <laughs> It was bad. I come out of my craft room and Kia has the whole sink like literally handles off. The sink is like hanging out of the like the what well, the faucet's like hanging out the sink. She's like, I broke the valve, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my goodness. I cannot believe it was already broken. It was yeah, it was already kind of broken, which is why our water I pressure. Just broke it more. She broke it like not even more. She Milo. broke it to the point where it's Milo. You're blocking Kia's pretty face. Can you go? Just, just exit state. Unless yeah, you're gonna say, lay down, down. down, lay down with your big self. Down. Come on, let's go. Down. Heart, come on. You're ruining my floss tube here. <laughs> All right, down. I give you treats. There, if you lay down. Oh, that's good boy. There we go. So I come out back to our store. I come out, and that sink is like literally destroyed. And then she goes, and it won't stop leaking at this point. So we tried cutting off like the water from underneath. That didn't work. So I'm like, let's just get a plumber out. We called around for a plumber. Nobody was available to the weekend. And we just like, we're like, okay, well, we're just going to have to let it. Milo, you never want to make appearances, and now you won't go away. Just <laughs> go find a hobby. Go. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Milo has decided that he wants to be in his floss too, finally. So okay, so let me plug this back in before it dies. So then so we like, okay, so we're gonna have to just let it what drip until we can get somebody out to fix it. A lot. So she so texts me I was at work, she's like, Okay, we're I'm literally filling up pictures of water at this point and I'm like, Oh my gosh, our water bill is gonna be like a million dollars and it's gonna be like like it's like terrible. So I'm like, we gotta fix it ourselves, right? Let's just try to fix it ourselves. So I'm at work watching YouTube videos. She's at work watching YouTube videos. 
we finally get brave enough. We go to the store, we go and get a faucet, and we spent what, an hour, hour and a half? Trying to put this faucet, we put a faucet in. The point of the story is that we, Repair man, man, man. Nope. Repair woman, 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 woman. Cause do you know where that's from? What's that from? It's from all that. Uh, oh, that's how you know you're, you're old. I'm seasoned. You're seasoned. So yeah, we put a, fa- a brand new faucet in. And not only do we put a brand new faucet in, the water pressure is... A what? Hey! So yes. we're really... Pro- that's our life update, is that we are officially handy. Yes. Between the two of us, we make one handy human. Yes. One. Half? Just one. Like a solid one or like half? Uh, about three quarters. Three quarters. Like I say that. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm still not good at hanging things on yeah. walls. It looks like we're like still in a printing small. But we Facts. got it down. Facts. We yeah. get it done. We bought a house and now we're learning about repairs. Fixing stuff. Then we thought our dishwasher was broken today, but between the two of us, good job. we fixed it. So let's get into some cross stitch stuff on some stitchy stuff. So. I have a finish. Let's start with my finish. You guys ready? That's cute. Boom. How cute is that? Isn't that cute, honey? I made it myself. Did you know that? What's it called again? It's called a pin drum, I think. So I went on, I was, I had this little tiny, like I had finished this. This pattern is from Cherry Hill Stitchery. And this is stitched on a 28 count mushroom Lugana. And I had finished it. My sister moved to California with her boyfriend recently. And I drove across, she came here first. And then we drove to California together. And I stitched this up on the road trip to California with her. And um, here comes Milo. Milo. <laughs> You're making a lot of appearances today. Oh so yeah, so we stitched this up. I stitched this up and I brought it home and I had no idea how I was gonna finish it. I thought I was gonna finish it in like a little like I don't know, frame or a tiny little pillow. But I, I wanted to get creative. I had been watching so many other people doing all their finishing and I was like, I wanna finish something really cool. I wanna try to finish something different. So I know there's a um pretty famous like tutorial person, uh Vana, the twisted stitcher. She makes a ton of of um, tutorials about how to finish things and they're usually they're free they're widely available on um, YouTube so I went on there and I watched I think I was gonna make a pin drum or something else but this is what caught my attention was the pin drum so I watched the video and I came home and I told my wife I was like I'm gonna be in my craft room for a couple hours trying to make a pin drum and she was like a pin of what and I was like a pin drum so I went in my craft room I figured it out so basically you like take the piece you measure and cut you sew it together down the back side you cut out like some uh cardboard circles or um what's it called mat board circles yeah mat board circles that like fit within your circumference i think you can use a compass to figure out exactly how big it was i was ghetto i just like found something similar i start trying things i was running around the house looking for bottle caps and pennies. Pen- <laughs> pennies it's like a um vitamin bottle cap and i was like does that fit in here so that's what i used to find what my circle was and then i um made a pin cushion up here at top and then i basically filled it with foam put a penny down here like i glued a penny to the cardboard to give it some weight so it'll stand Only you guys can't see but yeah it's got a little weight to it so i glued a penny in there i stuffed it really good and look, we got a pin drum. I'm gonna make a lot more of these. It's just decorative. Yeah, it's just decorative. It's just a way to display your stuff. I'm gonna learn how to make a stand up. Like people make stitch snowmen, like snowman cross stitches, and then they stuff them so they stand up. Isn't that cute? It's very creative. It's very creative, right? So yeah, I just another little finish. I didn't think I was gonna have any more finishes this year, but clearly I lied to myself. So yeah, finish. Oh, we have matching tattoos. Show them to you. This is our wedding date. In Roman numerals. This is Kia's first tattoo. This is my my only tattoo. How many tattoos do I got? Twelve. Eight, nine. I don't think I have that many. You have a lot. I do have a lot though. You can't see them. I have them in my own places where it's like professional at all times. So let's get into oh whips. Okay. So I only had I had five whips today. Five whips still up over the last two weeks, but I left one of them at work. I'm playing hooky from work today and I forgot to I'll judge. Mental health is important, honey. Mental health is important. And I'm taking a mental health day. And working with doctors and kids can be a lot. Yeah. Can be a lot. Yeah. So I had one more whip. I left it at work. It was my work uh, lunch project. And I forgot to grab it before I played hooky today. So 
The very first whip I worked on this the last, the last two weeks is I the, like this the witchy stitcher. Yeah. All right, I'll get up there. I'm not gonna take it all the way out because everybody can still see that it's like full. So I finished La Chupacabra. And I think I was almost done with Jersey Devil last time everybody saw. I showed this one. And it's really cute. Look how cute he is. So I think my okay. So the color that was used for like the bones and the skulls is 729 and it literally almost matches my fabric like perfectly so when i was stitching up like these little bones and these little skulls i realized that you really couldn't see them so i decided to go back and um back stitch them but so this one's back stitched in like 680 680 i think they're like darker gold i back stitched this one in black and then i realized that my bone was you couldn't see my bone so i went and back stitched my bone but my bone doesn't really look like a bone anymore it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I don't know what it looks like, but it doesn't look good. So I don't make no Kia. And <laughs> so I'm going to go and have to uh, refix that bone because it doesn't, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's a good look. So yeah, I think, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I am on the witchy stitcher. And this one is a uh, 20 count Ada and the color Avogado. I'm stitching it one over one because it's Ada. And does he 20 count? 20 count either and it's fiber on a whip so that was my wait my main whip over the last like two weeks was getting this one because we still have two more to do well technically there's three more out there's um the Hop hopkins goblin there is frogman and i think the witchy stitcher just released today um the jackalope and i have not seen that one yet but i saw it come in my email box so i've got three more to catch up on How and a border well, I think there's going to be four, eight, 16, I think. Four, okay. eight, 12. Yeah, I think 16. So, yeah. And that was that one. And I'm stitching this one in the cauliflower colors, DMC. All right. Do you want to show yours? Yeah. It doesn't get you to leave me. Yeah. What you got there, Kia? Is this considered a whip? This is a whip. Well, yeah, it's a whip because you still have to do the other portion of it. And I still have to do back stitch. And back stitching. So Kia was working on a pattern. This is her very first pattern she ever purchased. We showed it in my whip parade, and she got the first. Sorry, get close for you. The very first leg of um, hands-on design block party wolf. Let me put it on my board. You can see it. I got a board now. Kia Kia made a Kia found it in the shed and was like, "Look, honey, you should grab that for your floss tubes." I was like, "Oh, so thoughtful." Yeah, she finished the very first, like the whole, like the whole main part of the block part or the Viscor new. She just needs to do the top part. And look how good she did. How good she did. That's my first one. That's my baby. That's her very first stitch ever. And yeah, we're gonna. She's gonna start the other part. What this week, so I can get it finished. Um, someone's a little pushy about it, but I am a little. I'm like finish it, finish it. I want to make a Viscor new girl. It's my project. <laughs> Yeah, but I want to finish it. I'm on a finishing kick. And when I'm on a finishing kick, I just want to finish everything. Sebastian, Sebastian Leroy Jenkins, stop eating my stuff. That's my cat. So you might see a cat somewhere over here. Um, but yeah, let me go to my next whip. So my next whip, I'm really proud of you. That guy, you killed it, girl. You killed it. There's Bash walking behind me and Kia. You want to say hi? Yeah, oh, that's, he's never had hide a floss too. All right. Sorry, babe. It takes a show, y'all. This is Sebastian Leroy Jenkins. This is our love cat. He yeah. looks nice, he's but he's our not. Relationship cat. He really is. He looks irritated. He's I actually bought him for me. I did. So actually, I literally came home. We were dating for like what a month, and I was like, "Who buys a I want a cat, Alexis?" Because I'm extra. So I was like, "Honey, I'm, ow!" He's not very nice. <laughs> he's not a nice cat. He's not a nice cat at all. Okay, so yeah, we came home and I was like, honey, guess what? And she's like, what? I was like, I bought us a love cat. You guys ever seen um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? The Love Fern. The Love Fern. That's why we call him our love cat because that's like her, our version of a love fern. Stop eating my cross stitch. But yeah, so he's mean. He's, he's never angry. really been nice. He never really knows. I don't think he's ever met another cat. Yeah, I don't think he knows he's a cat. He's only been around his dogs his whole life, so he really thinks he's a dog. And we like we got Bash first and then we got Milo what? Like seven months later, eight months later, because Bash was almost a year and my little baby. Yeah, so they're our original 
our original group. Don't you come over here. No, stay. Don't you come over here. He's <laughs> like, you talk about me, Mom? Don't come over here. Okay, so my next whip is I was catching up on... What is this one? Oh, the Wizard of Oz one. No, what is it? No, Alice in Wonderland. Um, by the Owl Forest. I got... I had finished part five and I started on part six and this is going to be a giant foot with like a heart and some water but it's hard to see this foot like this the white on this fabric but it's just a 20 count um vintage country mocha by Zweigart and my needle minders from clay by kim and I got like yeah just like this done with the little chain and I got the heart what is this well that's not even cross stitch that's just an orc yeah, so far I am on this. And like I said, I'm stitching this on a 20 count Ada in the colorway. Why are you laughing? Come on, in my face. Miley, just breathing on people today? Sir, how rude. You gotta learn how to, you have to learn how to cross stitch so you can be in the videos more often. Breathing all hard. <laughs> breathing like that. You breathe. Milo, go get some water. No, no one's giving you treats. So yeah. Yeah, my I got one more whip. No, I have two more whips. So, oh yeah, and the whip, the whip that I left at work was my um, Barbara Anna, and it was the um, Santa's trip. I got like really far on that one. I'm kind of mad I didn't bring it home because I got like three blocks done on that one. So I'll show it on my next so last two. If I have to re-record this because of my old breathing. <laughs> Why do you keep giving me pause? I will be so sad. I'm okay, happy. and my next whip yeah. is. So I worked on, which one is this one? Oh, so I worked on this one here. And this one is Two Pumpkins Bright by Hello from Liz Matthews. You were really excited about this one. I know. Isn't that cute, though? Look how cute it's turning out. Have you even seen it? Is, yeah. so I know, but I'm showing you, too. Show the audience. So this is how far I've gotten. Last time you guys saw it, I only had, like, just this section, this side done, and then I finished this side, and I came in and put these little triangles in, and put this in here. So I'm getting there, slow but sure, because I have so many things I'm working on. But yeah, and this is stitched on a uh, 32 count Lugana in a colorway on thin ice by Live and Die LA, and I'm stitching this two over two. Isn't that pretty, babe? I like that name. Oh, on th remember I said like slush, on thin ice. No, Live and Die LA. Oh yeah, that's the name of the... That's the name of the company who's dying. Her, her name is Victoria. Valerie. Valerie. She owns that. She's nice. All right. And then I finally got to start on Hoodoo Voodoo from the Primitive Needle. I'm going to wait and get my hands on this one. I have, like, been telling people, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, I'm going to start. But I finally started. So, and I'm honestly loving it. I don't even want to put it down. I could stitch on this all year long. So let me show you the cover photo. I have my working copy in here because I do not, I mark all my patterns, so just a working copy. Primitive needle, hoodoo voodoo. And this is how, how's a needle? How far I've gotten. How cute is he? Look at the little voodoo man. Isn't he cute? And this is stitched on um, 18 count shale by Picture This Plus. Today it looks really purple and I'm actually kind of feeling the purple, but when I stitch on it like in my room, it looks more gray. But how cute is he? How cute is that? And this is hard to see, but it says voodoo. You leaving Milo? Oh, no, okay. Sorry guys, Milo has decided that he wants to be the star of this show. I don't need Milo to learn how to cross stitch. Yeah, isn't that cute? I love that. Oh. And then my friend gave me this, my best friend brought me this needle minder just recently. The rubes. The rubes. Yeah. So that's how far I've gotten on that. And I'm using all the call for Weeks Dye Works floss. And they're in the bag. They're kind of a hot mess, so I'm not going to rip them out. All right. What else did I have this week? Oh, I also had two starts this week. So um, I think you guys have seen on my um, Instagram that me and Julie and a bunch of other people, Noah Stitches, have started the Mary Morgan Sal. Our Mary Morgan chart and we're calling it the well hashtag no Mary Morgan's no judgment sal or hashtag Lisa Frank sal and I gotta start on that so that's that pattern and here my start let me put it on the board though so you guys can everybody can see it a little better because I didn't get far but I got a start watch your head honey not nice so I'm stitching mine on a blue color um fabric I think it was like 
on clouds or something like that. And I ordered it from Etsy, from my vintage needle arts on Etsy. And it's a 20 count Ada. And I think this is a big cut of fabric. I think it's gonna be like huge. Let's see. And I left myself barely two inches on, like this is like two, and that's like two. And it's gonna like literally two and two. So it's gonna be huge and it's gonna be long. So it's a big piece of fabric. I like that. Isn't that pretty? I said it's gonna be a tacky mess, but I'm kind of here for it. It's like blue, but it's like, look at all the colors. There's still five colors. Yeah, so. Gaudi. Gaudi is my middle name, actually. I'm pretty sure, like, my parents should have named me, like, Alexis Gaudi Lachelle no, Henderson. No, no. Yes, you would have. If, if I wore a cheetah print and red nails all the time, you'd still be here for it. Don't let her fool y'all. She'd still be here for it. Okay, so that's my other start and then I have one more new start so I got to meet Julie and Julie Kansas City girl in the Colorado world and Betsy Klager in person they are amazing people can I just say that like literally they were like they alone were worth the drive we went um to the new cross stitch store Colorado cross stitcher Sherry's new store I had been once before with this one and then uh, Julie said they were like last minute, she hit me up and she's like, hey, me and Betsy are gonna head up to the CrossFit store. I know you're up north, do you wanna meet us? It's like close to our, it's closer to our house. We live in Northern Colorado, we live like, so the store's in Fort Collins, we're like 30 minutes away from Fort Collins. So I was like, yeah, I'll definitely, I'm not doing anything, I'll definitely meet you guys. So I drove up there, I met them, we went shopping together and um, I had bought, so I had been influenced by another floss tuber. I think it's Schoolhouse Stitcher. Yeah, Schoolhouse Stitcher or the Schoolhouse Stitcher. Um, I s happened to come across her floss tube and I just subscribed to her and I was watching the video and she had showed this pattern. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I remember you working on it. Yeah, that. so, and I was like, oh, first of all, she enabled me twice. So there's another pattern that's been ordered that's on its way. So I got this pattern and I went, it's like, oh, okay. So I um, went to like, look at the floss list and the floss list on here is all Valdon Valdani. And I already knew it was going to be an issue, right? Like, so I'm going to show you a pattern with all Valdani. And I was like, oh, crud. Finding Valdani is, like, not impossible, but it's just not readily available, right? It's a, it's a fancy floss. It's not used commonly in a lot of these patterns. So I was on Etsy. I was on Instagram. Not Instagram. Etsy. What, what, one, two, three, stitch. Looking for these flosses. And I could find some of them, but I couldn't find all of them. So I was like, okay, well, let me try to do a DMC conversion myself. And everyone knows I am not, a, like, I don't do conversions. Like, for what it's called for is what I get. But I was like, let me try. So I was online. I was working on it all night long. I did find a small, like, Valdani to DMC, like, conversion chart. So I was able to get a few of them. You look cute. I was able to get a few of them, um, and I kind of worked from there. And so when I came up, so what I did was I went to the store with Julie and Betsy. I had pulled all the DMC off the wall so I could see what, like, the conversions were. And then from there, we just, like, literally went to – Sherry has, like, all of her floss, like, just literally, like, across a giant wall. So she's got, like, um, classic color work. She's got weeks. She's got gas. She's got needlepoint silk over here. So literally, it's just, like, a wall of silk. So, or wall of floss. So I could, yeah, so I could, like, literally take the DMC conversion that I came up with and literally just walk up to, like, every single floss and, like, match it. So Sherry helped me. How did I wrap this up? Oh man. Okay. Oh yeah. Cause I, I ripped it. Okay. So Sherry helped me. So this is the conversion that I came up with and Sherry and Betsy and Julie they all helped me do it. And there's another nice lady there who works there with Sherry. I don't remember her name. Sorry, but she really helped too. And this is the conversion that we came up with and it so far looks very, very good. So I'll show you guys a picture. So I have a start on like this flower here and I'm starting on this flower here. Not only did I do conversion? But you guys got your girl to try some linen. Remember? So they just happened to have, Sherry just happened to have the most perfect fabric. Look, okay. Boom and boom. And this is a 28 count linen. Oh, I think I have the name of this. Okay, so let me see. It's a 28 cashew linen in the color Cypress. And I think it's fiber on a limb. Fiber on a limb. So this is what I've gotten so far. I can't see because I'm far away. But look how pretty it is. I've done, I cannot complain compared to like 
the picture. Oh, okay, here, babe, you hold that. Hold it up real close so they can so they can Thank see. You, me something to do. you don't want to hang out with me? <laughs> huh. You gotta hold it. Oh, boom. There. Okay. And then let me show you on oh, my conversion. Look how good it came out. I'm so right there and right there. I am so proud of it. And so far, this linen hasn't been terrible. I can't say it's nothing terrible. Yeah, then you have like a this is the one you're selling. And I had to help you. No, yeah. I made a mistake. It was okay, so I had, I had made a mistake, but it wasn't um a linen mistake. It was a counting mistake. I was like, not again! No! <laughs> I'm not ready. So yeah, so I gotta start on that, and I'm doing linen. And let's just go through the colors real quick. So if anybody's interested in this chart, and uh, I'll put a link. I got it from Hershners.com, and it was like two ninety nine. It's a old Rosewood Manor um, chart. It's not available like on their website. It used to be, I guess it used to be in a magazine or something. So I'll put a link in my description box below um, if you guys are interested in this chart and you want to pick it up. And also, if you're interested, because there is no conversion, I am more than willing to share what we came up with. Um, let me just kind of go through. We have some mistletoe from Gas. What is this one? Some raspberry from Weeks. This one is Bee's Knees. This one, it calls for like 16 colors. And this one is Heatherly. Is that how you say it? Heatherly. Heatherly. From Classic Color Works. Not sure how you say that. Onyx from um, Weeks Dye Works. This one is Black Cock. Oh, so this one I kind of changed up. But this one you guys could probably find something different for. But Black Coffee by Classic Color Works. This one's Eve's Leaves. Right? Eve's Leaves? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eve's Leaves. Licorice Red by Classic Color Works. We've got Blue Beatrice from Classic Color Works. We've got Ginger Snap, Classic Color Works. We have Little Sprout, Classic Color Works. Um, Caribbean Waters, I love the Caribbean, Kia love the Caribbean. We've been a few times. And Red Rock from Weeks. And then we've got Cinnamon from Magenta Arts. And then we've got Sweet, Oh, sweet, sweet to this heart? Yeah, sweet as heart from Classic Color Works. And then this one's um, Sugar Plum from Classic Color Works. I actually um, ripped that tag. So, yeah. And so far, I I am ecstatic with my conversion. Mm -hmm. I am. Are you proud of me? Oh, is that that? You want to talk about it before you leave? What do you think? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Kia wants to thank somebody personally because we have, I'll let Kia do her happy mail first. I mean, I'm. Okay. Her name is Sarah. Oh. Sarah. Okay, her name is Sarah, and she's a really good friend of mine. She's on FlossTube and on Instagram, uh, Sarah Memphis E. Um, she's in my support group. She had sent me some fabric. I told her I would make her a bag, and she had sent me some fabric um, so I could make her a bag, which I just finished. And in that package with the fabric, she sent me and Kia a little bit of happy mail. You want to show them? This is my happy mail. It's Forbidden, and the color is 12. Oh, it's so Forbidden Fiber Co. Yes, the name of the company. Oh. Yep. And it is Toil and Trouble Fancy Gloss. It's fancy. <laughs> she was so excited when she got it. I was like, Thank honey. You, Sarah. I was like, honey, you have a package. And she was like, me? I was like, yeah, you. She got like, you have happy mail. She was like, happy mail for who? I was like, happy mail for you. She was like, for me? And I was like, yes. It says, she goes, my name on it. And I was like, yes, your name is on it. <laughs> right. I wanted to which was for me. It was for her. So she sent her this, and then she also sent her like, some like little Halloween things, and then um, she sent us a card. Thank yeah. you, Sarah. Sarah. So Sarah's sweet, and she also sent me the same floss, and then she sent me this little adorable Mill Hill. Isn't that adorable? You got beads. Yeah, yeah, it has beads. I'm I'm not like Brianna. I know better. You're not. You're not. You're. I'm not. I know better. So thank you, Sarah. We heart you. We appreciate you. You're an amazing human. Yes. Oops. So. <laughs> Kia was really excited. If you guys ever send happy mail to Kia, this one might not believe it's for her. She might think I'm just like. Pulling her leg. I, she, I need to see. She, she's. <laughs> I don't believe it otherwise. She's like, it's not for me. And I was like, it is. So thank you. Okay. So I actually, we can actually go into haul because I was actually done with my um my new stuff. Maybe we leave for haul. No, you can stay. I have to go. Oh, you're leaving me? All right. Well, you gotta climb over my low. All right, guys. Nice seeing you all. Hope all your stitching is going well. I wish you the best. 
Watch her climb out slowly. I'm not going to get out here graceful, so don't, judge. don't make me so mean. <laughs> I could totally see you being mean. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye, babe. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Of course. You're my best friend. Okay. So, before I forget. Okay. So, let's get, let me scoot over. Just me in the frame. So, let's get into my haul. Actually, let's get into some stitchy kindness. Because I got, so... Sarah, thank you so much for sending that. That was wonderful. Like, literally so kind. We are like... But when I also... So when I went to go see Betsy and Julie, Betsy had given me one of these... Is it Cabochon? Is that how you say it? Cabochon? And I'm pretty sure that is Hamilton. And how cute is that? So when Betsy's having a birthday style coming up for her... For her I think it's her 60th birthday? I'm not sure. She might only be 50. Betsy looks great so um but she's starting a sow for her birthday and I was talking we we're in the we were in the um the store and they were like you can't get the little birds pattern and I was like I can't do any more old lady sow and I forgot like not that Betsy's old but like the patterns are old that's what I meant by old ladies not like Betsy being old and her and Sherry were like mm -hmm. I was like no 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 not not you guys the patterns were stitched by old ladies like they're like gone. They're old. And the shoes are like, mm-hmm. I was like, Ugh. so now I feel like I have to buy little birds because there's no way I'm gonna let Betsy think I think she's old. So I'm gonna use this little key ring or um floss ring for when I start her sow. I'm gonna order the I am going to order the pattern, Betsy. I see you and I hear you. So I'm gonna do that. And then also, stitchy kindness. So you guys all know that is it Adam Hart? cross stitch i want to keep calling her adam hart mom but it's not it's adam hart cross stitch on instagram on her website she does these really cool floss drops and she had um posted like on her instagram like a giveaway like for people to enter as a giveaway so i commented i never win anything so i did not expect to like i just commented right why not it's fun and she when she she pulled my name i won i was like she messaged me she was like i literally almost fell out my chair i was like i literally almost fell out my chair i never win anything like i literally have never won anything like not a spelling bee not a race nothing i really have it's like very like never right so when she told me i won i was like thoroughly excited so she sent these to me and inside of here is four sets of her um new floss drops that's kia sorry she's distracting me with her bright shirt uh that's fine honey i love you so um yeah so she sent it to me it comes with four matching needle minders and i want to show everybody what they look like so i'm really excited to use these i have literally like have been holding on to this and not like putting them on anything because i really want to put them on all my projects but i want to show you guys first Look at me being a good floss tuber. So the very first set, I'm gonna just take one out because they're like, there's each bag has come in this little bag and each bag has 12. So here's the very first one. How pretty is that? There's the back side. And then, so the way it works is that you put your ring through here and then you put your floss here and it acts as a floss drop. Or you can, I think you can like put your floss here and then you can wrap it and make it into a bobbin. And then this little section here, is for like any little piece of extra floss that you like didn't finish and but you want to keep it because you can still use it you can like tie it right there so that's the very first set and let's see what else we got the second set was oh this pink one how pretty is that i love this color i was like gonna use them for my mary morgan but my mary morgan has like 20 colors and when i put them all in the ring together it was like kind of heavy so i'm like i'm gonna use it for like projects that just have like 5 10 15 like 5 10 colors probably because when you get up to 20 and 30 these can kind of get heavy so um i'm gonna use them for some of my smaller projects oh how pretty is that and i was just telling myself how i really wanted to like go to um floss drops instead of bobbinating because i hate bobbinating so now i have a reason to go to floss drops and then this last set how pretty oh so pretty let me get close so you guys can see really how pretty they are oh love them and then it came with each one came with um i won't show all the needle minders because they're all the same they're just the same matching one for each so and it came with and she gave me a floss ring and then each little needle minder so 
so let me do my hair. So this is her card. Go check her out. Hold on, let me move my little fat finger. There we go. Go check her out. You can buy her stuff. She's really sweet. She's a really nice human. So you guys support nice humans, guys. Support nice humans. So thank you so much. I think her name is Jackie. Her real name is Jackie, but I want to call her Adam Hart Mom. Even though that's not her name either. Her name is Adam Hart Cross Stitch. But thank you so much and i cannot wait to use them and anybody who has who has purchased them they're worth it and anybody who hasn't purchased them go over there and buy them and i'm not being paid to say that i'm just saying because i like them and what else did they get okay so also for haul so i get common the classic color works of the month club through crazy any stitching and i get six different um classic color works i only i have five here because i already pulled one for another project but here are the five that were left. Milo, you and your big butt. So, how pretty are those? I'm excited. So this first one is Sweet Potato. Second one is Colonial Copper. Uh, mossy. That one's pretty. There we go. And Tea and Biscuits. Oh, that's a cute name, actually. I didn't read that name. Tea and Biscuits and Campfire. So I'm excited. I'm getting, I'm getting a really good um, collection. I think Crazy Annie is doing re-signing up for it for next year. And I have not put my name on the list, but I need to because I want to get the full collection. They said that She said that ne mid next year, if you sign up for it again, you would have the full collection. So I'm like, oh, I guess I'm going to get the full collection. So that was that. And then what's left? Okay. I also did some shopping. Okay, let's start with my fabric of the month. So I so. Brandy, I've been with Brandy, well, almost a year now. Yeah, about a year now for my, my uh, Fabric of the Month Club. And I finally changed my fabric. I used to get a 20 count Ada, not 20 count Ada, 16 count Ada in the color, like some neutral, some um, color. But I finally decided that I wanted to try 40 count. Now, I, like I said before, I'm not a linen stitcher. Not like, I'm slowly becoming one. We will not hate on the linen. But I am not ready to jump into the world like 40, 56 count, 46. I am not Ymir, and there's no way, no way, right? Like, kudos to Ymir because your girl is not ready. And I, so, but I did want to try 40 count, and I did want to try it like n not an Ada, right? Not a 20 count Ada. I wanted to go to like a Lugana. I love the way Lugana stitches. So I'm like, hey, Brandy, can I switch my fabric over to a 40 count Verdal? And she was like, sure. Sure, not a problem. And I said, you know, I need more neutrals in my life too. So there's any way I can just go to like just neutrals for now. And then she was like, sure. So this is my very first piece of Brandy's uh, 40 count Verdal in the neutral colorway. And it's called Vintage. And it's like a really pretty like pinky, peachy, I don't know. Every time I go to peachy, we start talking about champagne peach. We're not going to. It's not that, that peach. It's just picking up real kind of peach. I think because of the, um, what is this called? Surging? But it's actually not this peach. I actually already know what I'm going to use this piece of fabric for. So I'm excited. But yeah, that's my piece from Brandy. And then also I got from Brandy. So I think I'm going to unfinish an object. I was stitching. I don't have my phone readily available. Do I not? No. Okay. Um, I was stitching a piece called... Um, Quaker's Pride on my Silk app, which is for iPhone. iPhone, no, I think you can get it on Android now. It was, I think it was for iPhone only, but I think it's available on Android now. And it's a Silk app and it has, it works like Pattern Keeper, but it's for specific, it doesn't have as many like um, designers on there. And I was stitching Quaker's Pride. I cannot pronounce the nice lady who designs it. I think it's Historica Stichmuster, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me, my German is trash. Um, so I was stitching on a piece of um, 20 count Ada in the color gray and I hated it. I was like, oh, this is gross. I gotta stop because I'm just not a fan. It was just like a basic uh, 20 count Ada from um, 123 Stitch. Nothing, not over dye, just I think out of the factory. And I hated it. I just did not like it. So I uh, reached out to Brandy and asked her if she could do a custom cut for me. And um, I asked her for the color Artemis, which was like a gray color. Um, it's picking up more purple, I think, because of the surging. Um, sometimes the surging seems to, like, make the fabric, I don't know, maybe because it's, like, a gray-purple. I don't know. But now that I think about it, I just don't think I have 
the want to continue that project. I think I want to just like say goodbye to it and use this for something else. It's just a 20 count, big piece 20 count Ada. So I can use it on another project. Um, yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. But I love this. It's Artemis 22 by 22 inches. And it's pretty. So I'll find another project for it. But I think I might just have to say goodbye to that project. I would give it away, but it's a PDF. So I can't. But yeah, I think I might have to say that's the first project I think I'm going to actually say like so long, farewell, because I'm not feeling it. And then my next piece of fabric is from Fabulous Yummy Fibers. It's called Wicked Nights. Honestly, this reminds me of something that I could use, like do a Bella on, but I've been getting 18 count, so it's a little hard to use um, 18 count for like Bellas or for like Miras because of all the beads. So I might have to find a different mermaid pattern, but I'm pretty sure I feel like this should be on a, like this should be on a mermaid or for a mermaid. Cause I just, it just reminds me of like under, I know people, so I guess you could use it either way. Yeah, I guess you could do it for Halloween too, right? Like you do it for Spooky for sure. But I just see like a mermaid on here. What do you guys think? You see a mermaid on, on here? It's like the under the water to me. It reminds me of the Caribbean ocean. Like when he and I go to the Caribbean, like this to me is what the ocean looks like, right? Sometimes you get to the water and it's like super like crystal blue. But when you get to the deep parts of the ocean, to me, this is what it looks like. So I'm thinking a mermaid would be pretty on here and it's 18 count so I can get a nice size I mean I can get a nice size pattern on here so that's that one and I'm excited about that one so if you have a mermaid pattern that you guys think will look good on here like sh put it below link it or you've stitched a mermaid you really like or you know of a mermaid pattern or if you just think of a pattern that you think would look really good on here give me some ideas you know your girl loves to kit so bring the ideas all right and then my last piece of fabric is my color and cotton fabric of the month. I get a 32 count Lugana. Oh, so pretty. What's it called? Cypress. I just love color and cotton. I'm hoping I can get into the club next year, like when it ends, that I can continue because it's so pretty. And I get a fat quarter. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I have no idea what I'm going to stitch on it though. 32 count Lugana. I don't even care. Their fabric is just so nice and ooh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then so let's see. I got some stuff from Sherry's um, when I went to go see went with Julie and um, Betsy. I picked up 2022 Book of Days, which I'm really excited about. I was looking. I was gonna get one for 2021, but by the time I heard about it, it was like mm, June, June, July, and I couldn't find them. And I want to. I'd start things from beginning to end. It doesn't I don't like to start things in the middle so yeah I'm excited to use this to keep track of all of my stitching because I stitch a lot of random things and I don't always um, put the information in the bag so this will be handy and I carry a purse I carry like, like the world's like largest purse I carry my whole life with me so it'll fit perfectly in my life okay and then the next thing I got was the Scarlet House. This is my very first the Scarlet House or Scarlet House, the Scarlet House pattern. And this has been on my mind, honestly, like nonstop for a few weeks. So when I saw that Sherry had it in her store, I was like, just girl, just get it. And it's the floral motif sampler. And I don't know why I want to stitch it, but I do. And it's just pretty to me. The fabric, I like this. Like, to me, it looks like a pinky fabric. I know it's probably like an actual tan fabric, but of course, I'm going to stitch it based on the picture. So I have like a um, sparkly pink fabric that I think I'm going to use for it. I'm 18 count and it'll fit for it. And I'm going to, my plan is to use the called for um, flosses. I said probably might change out this week's dye work because I have some classic color works, light ones that I think would be just fine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited. I'll let you guys, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys when I get this stuff because I'm excited about this one. And then for my girl's birthday on Instagram, I will link her below. She was having a 45 birthday set. I think it's Kitchy Whips. Yeah, Kitchy Whips on Instagram. And that's how, I think that's how you pronounce it. But I'm never sure because I don't actually have to say her name. So, but anyway, 
I'll tag her below. She was starting this pattern for her birthday. And I was like, oh girl, you know I'm gonna join on your birthday, Sal. So here we go. And my pattern took forever to come from one, two, three stitch. So I haven't started it yet, but now that it's here and now that I've shown you guys, guess who will be starting it this weekend? I have some fabric. She's so pretty and bright. I might do a skin conversion on her. I might not. I haven't decided yet, but she's pretty. She's really, really pretty. I'm excited to stitch that. That orange, she is going to be a doll. And I have some really good fabric for her. And then I'm on a pill. Okay, oh, then let me try this. I got Kia's wolf pins for her Biscornu when she's done. I was hoping that this would motivate her to finish the Biscornu so I could put the freaking pins in. I really want to put the pins in. I want to finish it and I want to be like, I mean, I'm going to put it like, well, not here because, you know, there's stuff here, but maybe up there, right there, with some space there. Yeah, or like move that picture down. Yeah, I want to put it out. So I got the pens for that. And then I am on a pillow kick. I'm on like a little pillow kick. I showed everybody the little three little pillows or the two little pillows that I have for fall. And I realized I have no pillows for, for Christmas or winter. I have like none. So I'm like, oh, you got to. You have to make some pillows for the winter. So I ordered some um small pillow patterns from I got one from Puntini Puntini. I ordered it from one, two, three stitch. Let me if you guys can see. It's called Sweet Holiday. So cute. And I'm gonna try to stitch it on the linen because I have some scrap linen I think will fit for this. And then it comes with the oh, not down here. It comes with the little button. I'm excited. And of course I'll probably this one, I'm probably gonna try to maybe I'll order her pen since I'm not in a rush. Do you know what I mean? And Christmas is not for a while because she's got really cute little pins. But then if, if I can't, I'll try to make my own because now I'm handy. And then I also ordered, what's this? Oh, uh, another little pattern from Country Cottage, Needle, Country Cottage Needleworks called Mary Mary. How cute is that? I'm excited. It's like this little, I don't have, I don't know. What do you guys think? This two green? No, I don't think so. It's like stitch on this like soft green. Why not? Oh yeah, totally, totally could do it. It only calls for two colors from Classic Color Works. It calls for red, red, red ribbon and lemongrass. So and there's DMC conversion. So I could totally, yeah, just use whatever I want. And then I ordered the same, the little jab code button. You can't see it. There it is. Where is it? Oh, right there. It goes for right on top of that right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna stitch these up and get them ready for my freaking um, Christmas de decorations. I think I'm gonna put my Christmas tree up this year early. Normally I don't put it up until like mm, the week of Thanksgiving or the week after Thanksgiving, well that Friday after Thanksgiving. But I'm feeling festive in a way. Like I'm not ready for snow and I'm not necessarily ready for stores to be like dropping Christmas bombs down me like psh, Christmas. Santa, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that, but I am ready to start to start feeling the fall, the Christmas spirit, right? Or like the winter spirit or the holiday spirits. Um, because not everybody celebrates Christmas and we celebrate Christmas here in our home, but not necessarily on a religious base, more of just like for fun and something that we've been doing our whole lives and it's a it's a fun season to enjoy. So I think it's more like the season and the decorating part that I'm like I'm ready for I think yeah oh wait no wait one more thing so I have one more thing it's stitchy kindness but I did not ask her if I could tell say her name on Instagram and it's kind of a personal thing so I don't want to you know put her out there but I wanted to tell you everybody about it so I had a friend of mine on Instagram reach out to me and she had said hey I noticed that you like to stitch geishas or that you had mentioned that you really like stitching geishas and, and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I love geishas. They're just absolutely amazing. And she said, well, you know, my, my mother was stitching a geisha and she had started one and she had passed away before she could finish it. And it's not really my, my stitch, this is my stitching style. And I was wondering if I could, if you would be interested in stitching it. And if I, if so, I could send it to you. So I said, sure, of course. And I was like, yeah, I would love, like, I would love to finish it. I love geishas. I would love to finish her mom's work. So she sent me this one by from mystic stitch and her mom has already had a start on it and let me show you her mom's stitching is beautiful and i can't wait to it might take me forever to stitch it because it's a full coverage piece 
but her mom had already started it. And I, is that the right way? Well, that, I think, no, it's this way. Yeah, this way. Um, and it's beautiful. Her mom's a beautiful stitcher. And I can't wait to finish it for her. And then um, she'd also sent me one other little pattern that her mom was stitching. And it was a mermaid, right? I'm like, oh, mermaids. Mermaids are just like calling my name right now. And let's see if I can get it right here. Let's see if I can find the, let's get just the pattern of it. I don't think there's a picture of it. Yeah, there's not an actual picture of it, so I can't show you the picture. It's just um, the pattern itself. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, it's in the front. Never mind. It's the front of the magazine. Oh, that's it. So this is an issue of Cross Stitch Crazy. Right, yeah, Cross yeah, Cross Stitch Crazy. And it's in the year Well, I don't know what year this is from. Did it tell you? It's from the UK. It doesn't tell me what year it's from though. I'm assuming you're right. It's a Joan Elliott. Joan Elliott exclusive design. That's the mermaid on the front. And her mother had already started this one. It's almost finished with it, and I will finish this one as well. Because it's beautiful. Her mom is a beautiful stitcher. So. And I will finish that up too. And then I'll frame her. How pretty. Come on, this fabric is gorgeous. I think it's a Jobelin. It's definitely a Jobelin. It's probably a 20, 28 count or 32 count. Some, somewhere in that realm. Um, one, two. That's definitely like a 28 count, I think. Because it's nice size. Yeah, that's nice size. I'm gonna say 28 count. Jobelin. Because it feels like a Jobelin. It's a little bit more rough than a Lugana, but it still has like a, you know, that, that texture to it. And I like, I like Jobelin, so it's got some stretch to it. Yeah, I'll finish that for her as well. I'm excited. Thank you so much for thinking of me and sending this to me. And I am more than excited and more than delighted to finish um, your mom's stitching. So yeah, and then she sent me all the dmc's to go with it as well so i will get started on those sometime soon i will keep you guys updated on my progress on those because that's really special stitching and i want to keep you guys updated on those other than that i think that's it that's all your girls got and we're under we're under an hour Woo, look at that so let me show you guys before i let you guys go i want to show you my mug so look at my mug how freaking cute is my mug it's coffee today, guys, not wine. It's too early for wine. It's only 3 to 1 o'clock here. It's my, my tablet is still in Michigan time. Don't judge me. But yeah, I got this for my, um, our wedding. Me and Kia got married back in 2018. And this was on our, on our wedding registry. And somebody bought it for us. I can't remember who exactly it was. But I love this freaking mug. I can't put in the microwave. But I love this mug. It's my favorite mug. And it's got a little heart. Can you guys see the little heart? But yeah, other than that, I just showed you guys everything I've been working on. I'll show you my whip that I left at work next week or in two weeks. I have some more stuff coming in, um, some more things I'm kidding up, more things I'm stitching. Hopefully, I'll have a finish. Hopefully, I'll be done. Not only will I be able to show you my Barber Anna, but hopefully, it'll be a done Barber Anna. Oh, and plans. The only plan I have... Besides trying to finish that Barbara Anna, because it's a Christmas pattern, because um, I want to get it up and decorate it and out for um, the holiday season. But I also need to start my black sample in November. I am still toying with what pattern I want to start for that, because I have now I have like three options that I bought, and I'm like, oh, what decisions, what decisions? And I'm trying to play with fabric. I have not settled on what I want to do for that yet, but I'm going to work on it today, since I'm playing hooky from work. And then I will start on it tonight. That's my plans. Other than that, I'm going to stitch. I'm going to drink wine. I'm going to drink coffee. I'm going to hang out all weekend. And yeah, if you guys want to get a hold of me, you guys know how, via the comments below or in my DMs on Instagram. You can also email me. I will link all of that information below. And I will also link all of the information from this video below. Anybody I mentioned or anybody I talked about or anybody you should go follow, I'll link them all below as well. Until I see you guys again in two weeks, stay wonderful humans, keep stitching, and I can't wait to see you. Bye.